everyone. So today I have a big basket of empties to show you. I've um I've been saving these up quite a while since uh, prior to starting filming your videos again. So I've got quite a few things to show you. I'll um I'll let you know uh let you know kind of what I liked and didn't like, and then I can actually throw my rubbish away. So I will um I'll get to it and I'll show you what I've got here. So I'll start off with skincare. The first products I've got here are a few Kate Somerville serums. Um, I have my favourite serum at the moment, uh, is the Quench Oil Free Serum. This one, this one I've already repurchased and I intend to keep repurchasing. It's just something really good for uh, dehydrated skin, but people who still get oily, so I really enjoy that one. I also have here the Total Vitamin Serum. Now, I didn't enjoy this quite so much. It was really quite runny. Um, I didn't find that it did much for my skin. So that one's probably one that I wouldn't repurchase. The next one that I have is uh, the Quench, uh, the regular Quench Serum. Now, this one here, I really like for nighttime. It's a retinol-based serum, so it actually helps to resurface the skin. I have another one of it on the go at the moment. Just based on some products that I've started using recently, I probably won't repurchase this after I finish my next one, uh, but I still did really enjoy it. And if you're looking for a serum that is a little bit more heavy-duty and something that's uh, slightly anti-aging, this one's a good one for you. I also have the uh, Hydrocate Line Release Serum. This one I really, really enjoyed. It has a film forming agent that actually helps to lift the skin instantly, while it also has uh, it also has ingredients in there that help to uh, lift and repair the skin on a long term basis as well. This one I find really good under makeup. It just helps makeup sit really nicely. It helps to kind of um, diffuse fine lines and pores. So that one's something that I really enjoy. The next item that I have here that I finished up is the Kate Somerville Retosphere. It's got retinol in there for repairing the skin. This one I really really like. I do find though that sometimes I need to alternate it because it can dry out the skin because of the retinol content. But I do like this. I still have I, I have one of them on the go at the moment, but I will probably replace this with uh, with my newer one that I just had in my recent haul. Um, so after this one's finished, I probably won't repurchase that. Uh, one thing that I used in conjunction with the um, with the Redisphere was the Kate Somerville uh, Clinic to Go peel pads. Now I I like these because of the glycolic content. I feel that it really resurfaces the skin well. Once again, I got one that was a combination of uh, glycolic and retinol recently, and I will probably purchase that in place of this. And I also finished up two of the Kate Som Somerville Nourish Daily Moisturizer. These are very, very deceptive in that they don't really have a lot of product in. Um, these ones, I believe, yeah, they're 50 mil. I go through these really quickly, and I'm in the process of testing something else at the moment. If I don't go through it quite as quick, I probably won't repurchase these. It is a very good basic moisturizer. It feels really nice on the skin. However, it is quite expensive for what it is and it's not a lot of product in these jars so you do have to be aware of that. But the uh, the delivery method here, um, the jar, is really great because it's a pump pack so it keeps, uh, it keeps the air from contaminating any of the product that's inside so it's really quite hygienic. Another moisturiser that I finished up uh, is also the Hydra Skin, uh, the Dauphin Hydra Skin Essential. Um, now this is the Emulsion. Now I really quite liked this because first of all it has the same amount of product as the uh, Kate Somerville did. However, I feel like a little bit went a lot further. Because it's an emulsion and a combination of an oil and water base, I found that it kind of it had a lot more slip to it, it provided a lot nicer hydration, and a little bit went a lot further than Nourish did. I also finished up the Kate Somerville Dermal Quench Liquid Lift. Now I got this when I had an oxygen facial done. I really quite liked the result of the facial, and so that's why I purchased this. Although I don't think it gives the same result, I think that it gives a comparable at home result um, to the, the oxygen facial. I like this for days that my skin feels really dull and dehydrated. That's what I predominantly use this for. For days that I feel it really needs a burst of moisture, a burst of oxygen, and I use that under a serum. So that's additional to uh, the serums that I use. And that's something that I would also uh, 
continue to use but just on a less frequent basis. I also have here, I finished up the uh, Radical Skincare Eye Revive Cream. This is something, I, I enjoyed it while it lasted, however, it was supposed to be something that treated both dark circles and lines. I don't feel it did a good, a really good job of either, it kind of just did a halfway job of both, so it's not something that I'm going to repurchase. I also finished up two of my Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorants. I have continued to repurchase these and I will continue to repurchase these probably forever. I love the scent and I love the antiperspirant quality so I really like those. I also finished up one of each of the uh, Glam Glow masks, the uh, Super Mud and the Youth Mud. Um, the Super Mud I found irritated my skin a little bit whereas the Youth Mud I loved. I loved how exfoliating it was and uh, this one is a repur repurchase for me. I just like the way that it makes my skin feel after I uh, wash this one off, so I really like that. I also used up a uh, whole set of the Glow um, Teeth Whitening Pods. I, uh, I have the Glow Whitening uh, Teeth Whitening System and I really like that. I feel it works quite well for me. So I, I have plenty of these left over, so I don't need to repurchase now, but I will continue because that system is a bit of an investment. It's the one with the uh, the blue light and I really like it. I've gotten some pretty good results from that. I also finished up some candles as well. I I had quite a few of the uh, glasshouse candles. Now this is the, um, the jar that they come in. I've emptied this one out and I have found someone who will actually do refills of, um, of glass jars with uh, soy candles so I'm going to get those ones repurposed for new candles. So the first one that I finished up was the uh, Rio de Janeiro, which is a passion fruit and lime. This one was probably my favourite, to be honest. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's really nice and fresh and summery, so that's one that I would probably repurchase in the future. The next one that I finished up was Montego Bay, which is uh, coconut lime. Now, I felt that this one was quite a weak scent, and... I feel that other companies have done coconut and lime better, so that's not one that I would repurchase in the future. Although it was a beautiful scent, it just didn't have a lot of throw to it. The next one I finished up was uh, Chicago, which is the uh, chocolate fudge brownie. Now, this smelled exactly like a fudge brownie, so if you do like that, it would be good for you. However, I found that it was a bit too rich for me, so that's not something that I enjoyed all of that much. Um, I, I did finish it and it smelled very yummy, but it was uh, it was a little bit too foody for me. And the last one from Glass House that I finished up was uh, Taha, which is a vanilla caramel scent. Uh, this one reminds me of Peter Alexander because it's a scent that they burn in their stores. It's a really yummy, really uh, caramelly vanilla and it does smell absolutely beautiful. However, I, I prefer more, more of the kind of fresh scents at the moment. Um, it is probably something that I will repurchase in the future because it is such a nice scent, but I prefer something a little bit fresher at the moment. Um, I have more candles. <laughs> I have the Circa Home uh, candle in 1998, which is Mango Papaya. This is like the Rio de Janeiro candle uh, from Glass House, but better. It's so fresh and so beautiful, and the packaging is just absolutely lovely. I have another one burning up the back here as well. So this one's probably my favorite candle, and I've stocked up. I've probably got about four others, um, and I burn them. I burn them all all the time. So this is something that I really enjoy. I've got a few hair care things here as well uh, that I finished up. I've got four different dry shampoos. Uh, purely out of uh, convenience that I purchased four different ones. I got a Batiste one which was the uh, extra extra large volume. I felt that that made my hair feel quite gritty and that's not something that I liked because I, I just felt it made my hair feel dirtier. It looked cleaner but I feel like it felt dirtier. Um, I also got uh, the Girls Only Dawn Till Dusk Dry Shampoo in this green case. That one, it was just, it, it was just nothing. It, it was only $2 from Target, so I can't expect much from it. Um, it did make it look slightly cleaner, but I don't feel like it did as good a job as some other dry shampoo. I also had the Polished London Dry Shampoo in the coconut scent. I liked the scent of this one, and I felt it worked quite well. Um, if it's the most convenient one to grab, I'd probably get that one as well. 
uh, but my favourite is the Chlorine Dry Shampoo. I just feel that this one leaves less residue and just does a better job than any other dry shampoo that I've ever purchased. However, it's ten dollars a can, so it is it is relatively expensive. But I believe that Chemist Warehouse occasionally has it on sale, though. I also have finished the L'Oreal Elnet, uh, the normal strength hairspray. I didn't I didn't like this all that much. I um I felt it didn't hold curl very well. I also finished up uh, the. Unite uh, Luxury Shampoo and I also finished a conditioner as well, but I don't know where that's gone. Um, these are beautiful. They smell amazing. I, I just find that they're quite heavy, so if you have quite oily hair and not a lot of hair, it will weigh your hair down a little bit. But they are really, really lovely for dry and damaged hair. I'm in the process of trying the uh, Living Proof Shampoo and Conditioner, so if I like that better, I'll repurchase that, but if not, I will go back to the U Luxury one. I also finished up a uh, bottle of Wen. Um, I like Wen. I I think it does a fairly good job. The only thing was it just felt a bit weird to not be shampooing my hair and sometimes it felt like I wasn't getting in there and getting getting it clean enough but my hair was clean and it was in really good condition when I used it and I think I got this as part of a pack so I think I actually have more bottles of it that um, I guess I'll use up. Uh, the next one I have is the Macadamia um, Deep Repair Mask. I really, really like this product. I feel like it does a really good job at nourishing the hair when you need a really nice, like, kind of luxury treatment for your hair. And that's something I still have in my shower now and I still really enjoy. I think I had two of these that were finished, but yeah, I like that one. I also have uh, the Body Shop Coconut Body Scrub. I, I really like the scent of this. It's really quite gritty, but I feel like the particles aren't very even, so they like they can abrase the skin quite harshly. Um, at the moment, I'm using a Kate Somerville body exfoliator. Uh, this one is cheaper, and I don't mind it all that much, so I probably will go back to this at some point. Uh, all the rest of the items are actually makeup items. I'll start off with mascaras because I actually had a really big mascara clean out. Um, I had a lot that were kind of on the go and I found that they were drying out quite quickly. So I'll show you which ones that I liked and didn't like. So the first one is the uh, Fairy Drops Mascara. Um, this one I quite liked. It's a fibre mascara. It was very hard to get off. Um, it's not something I'm going to repurchase though. I, I'm pretty set on the Dior mascaras that I've got now that I really enjoy. But this one was quite nice and if you like a fiber mascara something that really uh, volumizes and lengthens the lashes and this one is really good. I also had the uh, fiber wig mascara. Um, I didn't like this. I felt that I felt that it was really like it had fibers in it but it didn't do anything for the lashes. It kind of was just really thin and it didn't volumize or lengthen all that much so I didn't like that one. Um, I used the YSL Baby Doll Mascara. I like this. The brush was one of those kind of plasticky brushes. I, I enjoyed this while it lasted um, but it did dry out quite quickly so it's probably not something that I will repurchase based on that because it is quite an expensive mascara. I also finished up uh, two of the Majolica Majorca mascaras. The mascara and the primer, sorry. I didn't like the primer, it didn't do anything for my lashes. The mascara was alright. Um, this was one that had like a like a wand to it. There's one that has a comb and apparently that's better. Um, but these are really hard to get and I'm not going to go out of my way to get them again. I also had the Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes. Uh, this is something that I will continue to repurchase. Out of drugstore mascaras, this is probably one of my favourites. It's got kind of this like, um, kind of triangular tip and I really like that. I feel that it gets into the lashes and it stays and doesn't smudge. I had uh, two other uh, Maybelline mascaras, the One by One and the Falsies. I found that they both smeared really badly on me, so I definitely won't repurchase those ones. I also finished up the Shantikai mascara as well. Um, this was quite nice. Uh, it's just your basic mascara. It doesn't do much for either volumizing or lengthening, but I found that it was really good at conditioning the lashes. So that one's quite nice. Again, very expensive, and I don't like it any better than the Maybelline Lots of Lashes, so I won't get that one again. And I also, well, I'm kind of cheating because I didn't finish this. Um, this is the Givenchy, like the, 
the ball mascara thing. Um, I hated this mascara. It smeared on me. Regardless of whether I put it on my bottom lashes or not, it would draw down my face. And the only other mascara I've had that problem with was the, um, the Their Real Mascara. And you know what? There's plenty of mascaras on the market that don't do that. So I would more likely purchase and recommend those than something that just is a bad formula. So that's not something that I really liked. The wand was great, it really did get every lash on your eye, but the formula just really let it down. I also finished up a few fresh sugar lip balms. Um, these are the plain, like just the regular ones. This is a beautiful lip balm and I love it and I've got more of them and I will continue to repurchase it as well. Just a full size, I think I, yeah, I completely dug that product out. <laughs> and. Um, and what actually got it started was uh, the sample sizes that I got for my birthday one year. So I have two sample sizes of the plain one and a sample size of the rose. And I, I love these lip balms. I've got them in almost every colour. So they're something that I will continue to repurchase. I also finished up an old trial kind of mini bottle of the Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass. I, um, I quite liked this, however I did replace this with a different primer from by Terry, so I won't be repurchasing that one anytime soon. Depending on which one I like better, I'll repurchase. I also finished up a, um, a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer as well, this one's in vanilla. I really like this concealer, however I feel like it's a bit too oily for under the eyes. I feel like it caused a couple of milia and when I um, when I stopped using this one they didn't get quite so, the, the milia didn't seem quite so bad. Um, I still enjoyed it for using on my, on my face and I did repurchase it for that reason because it is so creamy and so full coverage but I feel like for under my eyes, which I'd originally purchased it for, it didn't really work as well. I finished up a uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, uh, just the regular one. This is my favourite eye primer. Um, I'm currently finishing off a couple of other ones and then I'll go back to repurchasing this. I'm trying to kind of downsize on my makeup collection, so I, um, I will wait to purchase this one. I also have here one of the Ellis Fast uh, eye thingies. Um, it's in E301 and it's one of the sparkly ones. Um, I didn't actually have this for very long before it dried out and clogged up and I wasn't actually able to use it all that much so that's not something that I would go out and purchase again based on the quality and most of these things that are in these kind of tubey twist up things and they are designed to set they do clog up really quickly and they're not something that I they're not something that I use all the time so yeah I wouldn't repurchase that I also finished up a uh, Lip Fusion XL. I actually loved this product. It just smelled good and it made my lips feel really plump. However, I feel like the Dior Creme de Rose lip balm is very, very comparable. It's just as moisturising and it's just as plumping, so I don't need to repurchase this because I've found something else that is as comparable around about the same price. I think this was a bit more expensive, so I'm going to stick with that one. I've got a empty of the Benefit Professional. I liked this primer. It took me a little while to get into um, into using it. This is the old packaging. I, I did repurchase it, but then I also purchased the Smashbox um, oil-free pore minimizing. Now I feel like the Smashbox is going to be better for me during the summer, uh, whereas this is going to be uh, quite good for me during the winter months, just for kind of filling in pores. So I do have another one of that, and once I finish up with my Smash Smashbox and the other one I've got of this, I'll, um, I'll go on and decide which one I would prefer to use in the future. I also finished up a, a tube of the, du the Duop Second Sin uh, lip plumping thing. This took me forever to use and it's such a tiny little bottle. I um, It got to the point where it was really murky so I just left a little bit of product in there. I really quite liked this, it was very similar to the um, to the Fusion XL. It, it kind of plumped my lips, it had a nice kind of cooling effect on my lips as well. Uh, but again, I, I found something comparable so not something that I'm going to repurchase. I also have a tube here of the Stay Don't Stray from Benefit. I 
I had this and I liked it as an under eye primer slash concealer but I didn't have it for very long before it actually all separated and became gross so that's not something that I'm going to repurchase either. I finished up a tiny little sample of the uh, Hourglass number no. 28 primer serum. Um, I quite liked this and I purchased the full size. I only use this on days uh, during winter where I feel really dehydrated. It sits really nicely under my YSL Youth Liberator foundation so that's something that I have a full size of but I'm not thinking I'm go I don't think I'm going to have to repurchase it anytime soon because I only use it uh, for specific days where my skin is in a in a really particular state so yeah I, I enjoyed that though. I also finished up one of the Skin 79 Super BB Face Creamy foundation-y whatever is. Um, I really liked this when I used it. It had a slight grey tone to it though so I found that when I got tanner it didn't really uh, blend in with my skin quite that well. Um, I have since replaced that with a Kate Somerville uh, CC cream which I enjoy a lot more which has skincare benefits that are I feel a bit better than this. That said uh, for somebody who's just getting into makeup who's just starting to wear uh, a full face of makeup. This is actually a really really good product and it's something that I would recommend for uh, teenagers in particular that are starting to get into makeup. I also finished up a um, Inglot cream to powder foundation. This one was really nice. I It started to go a little bit funny in the end there. It just kind of started to set in the pan. I did really like this though. I feel like it, it was really quick and easy to use especially when I travelled but I just feel that there are other there are other foundations that are better out there as well. Um, the Inglot, uh, just a regular liquid um, cream liquid foundation, that one is actually beautiful, and that's something that I um, I still use every now and then. So yeah, I, I like Inglot, Inglot products, but this isn't something that I would purchase again. And the very last item that I have for you um, is the Benefit Some Kind of Gorgeous Light. This one is actually an interesting product. I didn't quite finish it all. I, I found that it was starting to catch on my pores as it got a little bit older. It was an interesting product in that it seemed to give coverage and even out skin tone without giving coverage or... Yeah, it was, it was quite an interesting product but really good for covering pores if that's your only concern with your skin. I just found that it, it went old quite quickly once you started using it. But quite a nice product. I, it... It was different. I, it's good for that no makeup look, I think. But yeah, that's uh, that's everything that I have. Um, it is a lot of products. I've been saving up my empties for quite a while now. I, I've been thinking about redo. I've been thinking about doing videos for a while, so I started saving up empties in the hope that I would be able to show you guys my rubbish. And now I can finally throw it in the bin. <laughs> But there's quite a few um, there's quite a few good products there that I really quite enjoyed. Some that I have already repurchased, some that I won't repurchase, and it's kind of just one of those trial and error things. And I really like these empties videos because it really gives you the opportunity to see why people didn't like products and why people really did like products. So yeah, I um I hope you guys like this video, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.